Hello there. Um, I'm doing a picture. I started it off with felt pen in the same colour as the paper so the camera can't actually see it but you can sort of make out stuff I'm doing until it dries and then you can't. So I'm drawing an asp flying into the crab nebula which is quite brightly coloured greens and oranges and whatnot starting out with felt pen and then I did a bit of white acrylic on it because I used really dark red paper and then I finished off doing everything else in chalk so yeah um crab nebula's in game it's about oh um 6500 light years from earth it's uh it's got a neutron star in the middle it's about 20 miles wide the neutron star and it spins round 30 times a second it's in the constellation Taurus in the real world. I'm probably in game two. And I, I, I know where to find Taurus in the sky, mainly because the, I think the eyes of the bull are the hyads, aren't they? And it's, and it's under the pleiads. So I can find the hyads because they're under the pleiads. And then that's where, you know, the, the head of the bull is. And then you can look up and to the left of the, the bull's head. Apparently it popped in, uh, around 10.50. They know this because the Chinese astronomers had um, recorded it and they, um, when it was chartered, chartered it in the 1800s and the fella that did it, he drew a picture and it looked a bit like a crab. So that's why they called it the Crab Nebula. <laughs> it's apparently in the Sanguineous Rim, which uh, I don't know whether I've been there. I must have been there. I mean, I've been various places. I'll have to look where it is in the EDSM. Um, but yeah, apparently, although it, from Earth, it looks kind of like about as bright as, say, one of Saturn's moons. If you were seeing the night sky with eyes that could see gamma rays, it would like be the brightest object in the sky. So that's quite uh, scary, <laughs> I suppose. So you wouldn't want to sit too close to it, would you? This is the nice bit of the picture, actually. I like doing this. I'm looking at the picture of the nebula and looking at all the different colours and just putting all the bright colours in. They look, so always look so amazing when you first put in the colours. Obviously, it doesn't look like the nebula, so that's kind of not what you want, but you kind of have to smudge the, the different cloud colours in together to give the actual colours you're supposed to end up with. But this bit's always quite good fun, putting in all the um, the little bits and bobs in the right place first, because it always looks kind of zingy, like you're kind of having a party. But uh, yeah, then I had to um, smudge it all down, which is probably quite tedious to watch. But you're probably going to be made to. I think I've got that in here. Uh, oh, look, black. The blackness of space around the outside of the nebula. Nebulas always look a bit better on the outside. I wonder if this asp is... Uh, oh, there I go. Smudgy to smudge. Uh, I wonder if this asp is outside the nebula. Look, there's a bit of paper. It's a really useful tool, there's a bit of paper. And then you can see the external view of, of the nebula with all its glorious different shades or inside the nebula. Because I've been inside, um, you know, these kind of like tapioca red and yellow nebulas. And um, it can just look kind of vaguely red with blobs, which which does look good. But also it's not what you're seeing from the outside. So I, 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 I'm getting the feeling that maybe this isn't actually yet in the nebula. We'll see. And also you probably see kind of a bluish cast of things maybe a little bit if you were quite near to the neutron anyway so the smudging's continuing to be smudged smudge smudge and uh, basically to spend the rest of my time trying to make sure that the right bits of cloud are the right color in the right place and just just you know oh you have to color in the um the asper orange paint job on so i put a bit of orange on that oh look the completely useless efforts of using a um a yellow felt pen um, amazingly didn't destroy it, which is quite a surprise, really. Uh, I deserve to destroy that felt pen, but never mind. So bits of felt pen, bits of yellow chalk, try my best to, to make it look uh, as near to the picture I was given as possible. And then sending off in the post if they want it. All right, thank you for watching and uh, listening to my half-baked facts about the Crab Nebula.